Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to make a wide body for a car that has a unified body. Unified as in full on body, all connected up together. However, it works also on cut up bodies, however it's a bit more complicated. It might not look as good. So to begin with, we'll have to move our car to zero, zero, zero. You see that it's a bit underground, don't worry about that. We'll remove the base plate. You can add the base plate back whenever, you, whenever you're done. So firstly, you will have to export your body. You see, I already have exported them, but I'll export them again. Okay, you realize that the diffuser is connected to the body. You also export that. Note one thing, anything that is connected from the bottom or from the sides should be ex uh, exported as well. Your underbody is very important, so you need your underbody to be there as well. And if you have any skirts, you should also export that. Now you go over to your blender. You import your body. your diffuser, your skirt, your splitter, and your underbody. Now that you have all your pieces there, you'll have to look on a side view of the car and you have to decide where you want to extrude it. Note, you'll have to select all of this and go into edit mode. So, you see that there are polygons. You'll have to get out your brush tool, which you can do by pressing C. And you'll have to draw an arc around the area that you want to extrude. Note, it must it must be in wireframe mode and that is very important. You see that you have selected an area. Note, you, you might see some areas in the headlights and you must remove them. You can go into wireframe again, press C and use your brush by holding middle click, not middle click, um, your scroll wheel. Make sure every single one of them is deselected. It should look something like this. Now you have to do this on your other side. So you see that now you have your your headlights deselected. You'll have to deselect something else as well. You'll have to go to the top view and deselect the inner of the bot of the underbody. As you see. Now you see that the only pieces that are selected are the outer pieces of the body and the and the underbody. Note, you can also select a part of the splitter if you want, however, only if it goes to the 
to the sides where I'm showing you here. So from here, it might look different on where, what you see, if it's blue or green or red. However, you'd have to pull it out. Call it until you have something that you'd like. See that you don't like the bottom, for example, you can deselect it. Or if you don't like the front, you can also deselect it. For example, as I see right here, I did not like the the bottom, so I will deselect it. And you see that I I feel like I have selected too much of here, so I also deselect it. This step is the most uh, hard, I would say. It's the hardest step, but at the same time, it's the one that you benefit from the most. You can have a small wide body or a big wide body. It depends on your body, firstly, and it depends on how the polygons look. If they look very bad, I wouldn't suggest you going too much. We will move on to the rear now. You see that the arc connects up to the diffuser and some of the skirt. Let's select it. You see now that you have selected your real re your rear wheels and also the arcs around them. You'll have to go to the top view again, and you have to deselect all the parts that you don't need to, to extrude. This is not like the front, it's way easier. So now, you extrude it as much as you want, as much as you need it, and as much as you want it to be. Let's say something like this. Or you can even reduce it if you want. The reason I prefer this way of widening, it, widening up the body is because it maintains the details around the seams, as you see, whether it's at the front or the back. So now we can deselect our stuff and we can export it. Remember, select your part. Go to export, obj, go to the folder that you did, and select selection only. We'll call this body2. Then diffuser. Diffuser2. Skirt. Skirt. Two splitter splitter two, and you have the lastly underbody. Export. Now that you're done with Blender, you can go back to your to your studio. You see that your car is still here can go and select mesh ID and you have to go to your folder select body 2 remember do not give it the location data so press no it, it will show something like this but don't worry about it just rotate it 180 degrees by pressing ctrl and R twice you see that if we haven't done the underbody and the skirts and the diffuser, you see that there will be a bit of a gap. So we already have done them. So we'll select our skirt. No. 
and turn it around twice. We go back to the diffuser node. And we turn it around twice. We go over to the splitter. Splitter 2, no. Rotate it twice. And now, lastly, we'll go to the underbody. No. Rotate it twice. And here you go. You have a clean white body on a car that did not have a white body before. You can obviously edit and customize it to whatever you wish in Blender, but this is a simple way to make a white body in Blender without having much issues. If you have any questions, please DM me. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments and if you want anything new or anything to be uh, spoken about and explained I will leave a, a discord uh, invite so you can ask me personally thank you everyone for watching have a good day